Welcome to Data Mualim. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified for more interesting videos. A search box is a graphical element present in many desktop applications and websites. It acts as the field for a query input or search term from the user to search and retrieve related information from the dataset. So, how can we implement this in Power BI? It's very simple, just using a custom visual known as a text search slicer we can achieve this. Suppose we want to search the data using a location like New York. We can just type here and click enter, all visuals will be filtered based on this search text. Similarly, we can see the results appearing by using the industry or sector. Let me search by job title. We can see the data has been filtered. Likewise, by company name. So, let us get started and see how to implement this feature. Before we look into this, let us see how we can get this dataset of Glassdoor job reviews. We can get a lot of datasets from Kaggle.com. Go to this website and search Glassdoor. We can see different datasets available and also job reviews datasets as well. Click on download to download the dataset. Now let us add the custom visual text search slicer to the Power BI desktop. I have already added the visual, but still, let me show you how to add it again. Click on three dots in the visualization section and select get more visuals. Search for the text search slicer and then add this visual to your Power BI desktop. You will see a pop-up of successful import. Click on OK. We can see the visual is added successfully. Now let us see how we can design the layout of this report. If we can notice, there is a background shape added to the search box. Go to PowerPoint and create a blank slide. Let me copy all visuals into a new page. We need to add the logo with text, a shape for the search box and a flat line. Take a screenshot snippet of your report and paste this into the PowerPoint slide. Let's resize it to cover the slide. Once done, let us add the shape and format the color and borderline and resize it to fit the box. Next add a flat line and change the color. Now let us add the logo and the text. Once we are ready with the layout, we can simply remove the snapshot and save this slide as an SVG file. Now let's go back to the Power BI desktop and add the background SVG file, which we have created through PowerPoint. And there we go the layout is ready after a few tweaks. Now let us see how we can include all the required columns in the search box, so that even if we want to search based on one or more fields also, we can do it easily. Add the text search slicer first and then add the column you want to search based on that. Let me format and increase the size of the text. Based on the job title the search is working fine. But as said earlier if we need multiple columns to work on this search box. 
We need to merge all the columns required into one column based on a separator. We can go to the Power Query tab and add this new column. Click Add Column first from the menu bar. Select all the required columns and click on Merge Columns. Select the separator and provide the new column name and click OK. The column is successfully created. Keep in mind, if we try to merge columns without going to the Add Column tab then all the selected columns will be merged without creating a new column. OK, now let us close and apply the changes. Once done, we can add the newly created column to our search box. There is another thing we can do is add multiple columns to this slicer, it will display all the columns. But while searching that column we need to select it first. So instead of doing that, we can combine all and create a new column as we did already. Now let us test whether it's working as expected or not. Let us start with job title first. We can see the expected results. In this way, we can add a proper search box as we see on many websites and search engines. Stay tuned and subscribe for more exciting videos. Also, comment below on which topic you would like to see my next video. Hope you like this video, if you have, please click on the like button. Thanks for watching.